All right, the wait is finally over. Francis Ngannou versus Tyson Fury is done. It is over. The wait is done. And it was quite the wait. We had to wait for hours until the both men walked to the ring and then went to war. And that is exactly what we saw, a war. It was not the one-sided beatdown. It was not Tyson Fury making an example out of Francis Ngannou. He didn't toy with him. He didn't play with him. He didn't drag him into deep waters. He didn't embarrass him. He didn't flick the jab, dance around, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. No. When the fight started after both of them had walked to the ring wearing crowns and robes and getting off thrones, when the fight started, Tyson Fury went at him like a bat out of hell, straight away, super aggressive, didn't find the mark, didn't drop him, the attack didn't work, and Francis Ngannou slowly but surely took over and, in my opinion, won the fight. Now, Fury looks bad. Listen, I'm a fan of Tyson Fury, but that was not the best performance for him. He even knows that when he spoke on the microphone and he looked a little kind of embarrassed, I think, because, listen, he just had a tough fight, okay? He just had a tough fight against a very tough, strong man. Listen, let's cut the chat about who would win a mixed martial arts or a street fight and Garnu would wipe the floor with him. But in that boxing match right there, even though it went to a decision and it was a split decision and it went to Tyson Fury by one point, I think... Francis Ngannou won the fight. I think he should have won it. I think he deserved to win on the scorecards. And I think he won the fight uh, both actually in the fight and in the hearts of people's minds and souls, right? Francis Ngannou, everything that he's come through to get to this point has never boxed before. He goes out there against Tyson Fury, beats him, right? The more damage, the more violence, the only time somebody got dropped... That all came from Francis Ngannou, right? It was a one-two from Fury, a looping left hook from Francis Ngannou, catches the top of the head and down Tyson Fury goes. A side that nobody thought we would ever see. Let's remember some of the big hitters that Tyson Fury's been in there with, okay? Francis Ngannou could have finished it on multiple occasions. Of course, as the fight went on, 10 rounds, not 12, not 12. If it was 12, we could have had a different decision even though I do think Francis Ngannou should have won. But if it hadn't been 12 rounds, things could have been different. There was a time there where Fury just kept engaging in a clinch. Let's remember, Francis Ngannou was the mixed martial artist. He's the man that can wrestle, probably knows a bit of jiu-jitsu, let's be honest. He's no black belt. But it was Fury that kept punching forward and then grabbing hold. He was grabbing a body lock. He was grabbing a bear hug. He was doing anything he could. And it was quite bizarre. At one point in the fight, Fury went forward through a combination, was wobbly on his feet, fell into the clinch and then went down to his knees. Went to his knees looking like he was going for a double leg takedown. He wasn't, but he was just off balance so much. On the flip side, Ngannou was fast. He was fast as lightning. We saw him on the pads this week. Didn't look that fast. I don't know if he was conserving his energy, playing mind games. I don't know what it was. Or just the adrenaline of the moment just ticked everything up to that next level. Regardless, Ngannou was lightning fast and he was powerful and he was dangerous. He was technical. The instincts were great. The reads were there. Fury kept switching stances. When he would switch, Francis would switch. Technically, he'd done his work. He's done his homework. All the work with Mike Tyson paid off. And everybody, like me, that said he would get embarrassed, I never said he'd get embarrassed. I said he'd lose. But everyone that said that he didn't deserve to be there, they are all eating their words. Because in my humble opinion, he won that fight. And in terms of an actual fight... He won that fight. Listen, we know Tyson won on the scorecards, but if an uneducated person like my wife, Mrs. Rebecca Bisping, wants to watch that fight, she said, I don't understand this. How did Tyson Fury win? After I watched this, I walked out, she said, how did Tyson win? He got bullied. He got dominated. He got thrown around the ring and the heavier, nastier shots certainly came from Francis Ngannou. Now, granted, this isn't mixed martial arts and it's not all about damage. It's about hitting and not getting hit, right? The punch strikes, okay, the stats, they were pretty equal, okay? But the heavier shots certainly came from Francis and Garnu. So, it's unbelievable, okay? Francis and Garnu went out there, shut the world up, shut the critics up, blew the roof off the stadium in Riyadh and set the world on fire. And I'm telling you right now, the options for Francis and Garnu are ridiculous. Does he go to the PFL? Does he have another fight with Tyson Fury? Every boxing promoter on the planet right now is going after Francis Ngannou and offering him an absolute 
fortune. Now, the next thing for Tyson Fury, they talked about it in the ring. Alexander Usyk. If I'm Alexander Usyk, a man that does have more technical ability, let's just have it right, than Francis Ngannou, even though Ngannou looked fast, he was balanced, he was poised, he, was, he, he looked great. He looked fantastic and fast. That was the thing that really surprised me. We know about the power. But if I'm Alexander Usyk, I'm looking at that and I'm licking my chops. I cannot wait. Now, they talked about December 23rd. Frank Warren then stepped in and went, well, he's got a little cut under his eye. Maybe we don't make it December 23rd. But the fight's happening. The fight is locked in. That will be the next one. Well, I'll tell you what. Tyson Fury needs to do some work. Okay, now maybe, maybe you took him lightly. Okay, maybe that's why. Right, And he did show up looking a little bit out of shape, more so than usual. Maybe that's why. But he went 10 rounds and skill for skill and Garner was right there with him the entire time. So I don't want to hear anything about taking him lightly. Two men showed up and I think Francis Ngannou won that fight and he won the war. Okay, and he won the battle and he won the hearts and minds of everyone all over the place. I did a live stream thanks to everyone that watched it and I said that was like Rocky IV. When Rocky fought Ivan Drago the massive underdog one of the biggest underdogs in the history of the sport of boxing and he went out there toe to toe landed the heavier shots at one point he was just picking him apart against the fence Fury was covering up and they were big thunderous hard shots technical as well right it was wild I couldn't believe what I was seeing well done to Francis Ngannou he truly deserves all of the success now will there be a rematch with Tyson Fury and Francis Ngannou. I, for one, would love to see that. And I tell you, if both men fancy doing that again, there is a thirsty audience that want to see that again. I mean, could you imagine if they did it in Nigeria or Cameroon or somewhere like that? You know, the rumble in the jungle, the thriller in Manila, wherever they want to do it, I want to see it. Francis Ngannou, be proud of yourself. Tyson Fury is going to box Alexander Usyk. They had them in the ring together. Alexander Usyk was there and they asked him, they said, yeah, December 23rd, whenever you want to do it. Okay, I'm tired, now I go to bed. And uh, then he was talking, he got asked another question. He said, maybe, maybe. You got to love Alexander Usyk. The man's like very, very relaxed, but a monster inside the octagon. So there it is. What do you think? Francis Ngannou shocks the world. The boxing acumen, the skill, the amount that he has improved under the tutelage of Mike Tyson is ridiculous. Even though he won, I do believe the stock of Tyson Fury just dropped a little bit. There's going to be a lot of boxing pundits, experts, other heavyweights, rivals. Because let's remember Tyson Fury, listen, he's the baddest man on the planet in the boxing world, right? He's very confident. He talks a lot of shit. He's very cocky. That's what fighters do. That's what we all do. Well, he's just opened the door for a lot of criticism because... Francis Ngannou had never boxed before in his life. He just took him to a decision. Tyson Fury won it by the skin of his teeth by one single point. And the general consensus seems to be on the poll that I did whilst I was live. The majority of the people watching thought that Francis Ngannou won. On Twitter, most people think Ngannou won. That means worldwide, my wife thinks she won, right? No man alive can beat a man born of a woman, my son. That's right, John Fury is probably losing his fucking mind. Notice we didn't hear anything from him tonight. Listen, well done to both men. I enjoyed it, I enjoyed the matchup. I thought Fury looked sloppy, I thought Ngannou looked great. It was a fun contest, it's finally done, it's over. What will happen next though? Let me know what you think. Let me know who you think won. Right, that's important. Let me know who you think won that fight and what both men should do next. Wow, Francis Ngannou, take a bow, my friend.